It's time for more Portal of Evil, Stolen Runes. I'm your Gibbs, and we are getting close to the end of the game. We're on chapter number six. It's called Purgatory. Our souls just swapped bodies, so I don't know. It's kind of creeping me out. We gotta figure out what happened to us. Yeah, well, at least we kept our matches in our oil can. That's good, right? No, oh, what's this all about? I don't know the order yet. Okay. Well, what do we need the rock for? I don't know. There's something here, but how do I remove the bark? Don't know, we'll be back for that. Ooh, who's this guy? Hey, fella. Greetings, stranger. I am the guardian of this place. I watch the souls until their fate is determined, and I show them the way when they go to the gates of heaven or hell. Is your name Vanessa Helsing? Your soul shouldn't be here. How did you come to be here? You must return to the world of the living in order not to violate the course of things consecrated by the centuries. I'll help you with some advice. Collect ten ruins for the scales of fate, and you'll be able to return everything back to normal. Okay, thanks for at least helping me out here, offering to help me out. This well is dry, and there could be something useful at the bottom. I have to climb down. Everything's on fire. We need to get water here. Ooh. Okay, it looks like we have a cannon. Something's buried here. Hmm. Whoa! Here's all the runes. How do I get it out? Good question. Find ten coins and insert them in the recesses. Sure, we can do that. Move crap out of the way, though. I kind of like these puzzles where you got stuff buried like this. Kind of neat. They're not the easiest puzzle, that's for sure. It really depends on what color they make the objects that are buried, if you know what I mean. These ones are kind of bronzy, so it's a bit easier to find them. Oh, I just realized that's a reflection. I'm clicking on it going, hey! How come you're not working? Alright, we got one more. There it is. Oh, get out of there. Oh, <laughs> I'm gathering it all up on top of the coin. There we go. Cool. Blue orb. Sure, I'll take that blue orb. What do we have here? Blue orb, maybe. Can't use it here, darn. Is this not a Cerebus? Yeah, this is a Cerebus, the three-headed dog guarding the gates of hell. There is a room near him. If I dig beneath the column, I might fall in the direction of the rune on the island. Okay, well that's not going to help me at all. Gates to heaven. Oh, this is pretty. There's where the blue going goes. This one, too, I think. Oh wow. Rune, one of ten. Good grief. Oh wow. To figure out this one out, do we? Come on, swap. Oh, I see that one's fixed there, is it? Hmm. See if this goes here. Yeah, it does. Yes, yes, yes. No, not quite there. Hmm. Looks like this is a very long set of wings here. No, this hand goes there. 
Okay, we've got this part. I can see it's getting darker. That's good. Maybe we're in the right direction. Excellent. Beautiful. Ooh, what's this? Blue weight. The cup runneth over. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? I can get water here. I see that. The gate cannot be opened without a key. Two out of ten ain't bad. Okay, that's cool. Not sure what this is supposed to be for. Oh, up there, maybe. Really? Yay, 3 out of 10. Okay, we can cut the rope now. Thank you. Maybe we can crawl down that hole. Or well, maybe we can pick that out too. There we go. It's all coming together now. 4 out of 10. I think we can jab this in here somewhere. Maybe? Where's Todd? I have to fix the rope. That'll work. Ooh, bucket is always good. Take that rune. And there's the order. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Wait. <laughs> How did I screw that up already? One. Two, three, four. Ah. Another rune. Six out of ten. We put the. No, we need water. Let's go back to the gates to heaven. Where the cup runneth over. Thank you, and then we'll run back there. Crossroads. Put out the fire here. Oh. One of the ten rules of the scales of fate has long been guarded by Cerberus, the three-headed dog yeah, watching the gates of hell. Take this instrument, play any tune, and it'll send the hellish dog to sleep. Thank you. You're very helpful. Ocar Ocarina? It's the Ocarina! Push flash. That was it, just a shovel. Cool. I need you, thank you. Seven out of ten. Alright, let's go back here then. I'm not sure we can dig this out, we'll find out. Can't use that object here. Okay, well, I guess we'll do it. Did it work? Didn't seem to work. Oh, there it goes. Just took a little while. <laughs> Alright, let's dig this up then. Push. We're in business. Okay, now what do we have to do? We need the red orb. Hmm. Scales. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Chisel it out. Ten runes are needed. Nothing else here. Time to chisel. Oh, and it's our last one, too. That's kind of cool. Thank you. 10 out of 10. Let's do it. Alright, this is kind of neat. It's a balancing act, is it? 
I have to put something there. I have the blue weight. I have a key now. Key for what? Oh, the gates to heaven. Really? That's all it takes? Let's go. Probably the red orb is hidden over here, as I'm, what I'm guessing, then. Oh, wow, we gotta do this. Ten birds! A bird. Oh, they're white birds. Yeah, I'm guessing this is where the uh, red orb is hidden, then. Clever. Look at the flowers. They're in my way. There's one right there. Come on, game. Where the heck are the rest of them? I need a bunch of them. Four more to go. Three. Come on. There's one. Two more. One more. We are off. Out. Over. Oh, it's not there. There's the last one. All sorts of nice things in here, but uh, I actually wouldn't mind having one of these apples in here. Seriously, where's the last one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, red orb for sure. Thank you. Place it. Here you go, red orb. Nope. That's not what to do. This is probably how I get the red weight, too. If I had to guess. Oh, wow. This is going to be much harder. Yikes. Okay. That's pretty good. I just don't know what the, what his face is made out of. That looks like a shoulder there. Ooh, that one's good. Fur. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it either. Nope. Tough, tough, tough. This one's a tough one. Unless this goes over here. Oh, it does too. Okay, his hands up. Ah! This looks like that's locked in too. Exactly sure what I'm looking at here. It looks like his arm, doesn't it? Oh, that one's actually locked. I can't even move it anymore. Wow. Okay, well, that helps. Can't be his arm. Well, it's down there, that's why. His hand's a fireball. Yep. It sure is. Hmm. 
kind of just doing this brute force. There we go. We did him. There's our red weight now. Let's run back to the scales. I think we're back. Alright, what happened there? Secret order, the gates to the underworld. Back from the dead, traveling through portals to the other worlds. All this is somehow believable, but returning safe and sound from purgatory is an absolute miracle. What else am I to come across on my way before this mission is complete? Uh, looks like we have to do something here. What? I don't know. Oh ho, 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 ho. Gear. Vanessa, I am Giovanni the Hunchback. You don't know me, but I will help you. I have no idea how you managed to swap our souls. But, if you come back, do not touch the seal under any circumstances. At least while it's on the pedestal with the pentagram. To take it, you have to destroy the pedestal first. I suppose you've realized that it was me who scared or carried the seals out of the temple. But I didn't steal them. I received all the seals in a strong box sent with a letter from Archbishop Benedict, which contained detailed instructions on how and to who to deliver them. I was so happy to at last be trusted with a serious task that I didn't suspect any deception. When I realized that the Archbishop really had nothing to do with the seals, it was too late. Okay, you shouldn't touch it. Don't touch it then. I'm gonna assume we need oil. And fire it up. Okay. Books. Really? Books? All that for books? Where do we put the books? Here, probably. Oh wow. Rearrange the books to restore the drawing. Good grief. Well, that's a bookend. And that's a bookend. That helps. Thank you, developers, for doing that. We need to find the tail end here. Mm hmm. No. Can't tell. That looks locked in there, doesn't it? Maybe that's. The... Not quite. Hmm. That one locked in nicely. So, where does this go? I'm gonna guess... That one, the one in there nicely. Hmm. Cool. Alright, we're coming together now. And that's gotta go there. Fifty. Ooh, we found this. Jade. Dry acid, a solution made of a particular mineral, is used for removing ink from paper. Signs that, wow, signatures can be removed from various documents in such a way. One needs to be very careful with the proportions of the solution. Exactly 37 grams of mineral should be added per 100 grams of water. Otherwise, the acid will be either too strong and dissolve the paper, or too weak, leave stains. Oh, yeah, that's what we just did. 37. 
right, let's do the jade thing. Let's get in there. Nope, wrong one. Uh, should be a medallion there. Ooh, okay. Let's go and get cracking here. I put all this stuff in here. Now I have to get it up. There's the medallion, though. Oh, with an egg. Hmm. I have to collect weights. There's one weight. Bowl with an egg. Collect them all. Pokemon. Just gotta find them. There's one there. I think there's a weight right here. There we go. Bowl with an egg. Cards. Butterfly and a ribbon. There's cards. Butterfly. So we have a spider and a ribbon. What color would this ribbon be? Oh, maybe right there. Hint the last one. Wow, that's a dead spider. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a dead spider. Weights. Okay, cool. Weights. Wine cellar indeed. Oh yeah, we have to do 37 grams. Scales are good for weights. 37. And one, seven. Whoa. Nope. We did it. Alka Seltzer slash ink remover. There you go. Splash that on there. Okay. It looks like an arrangement for the candlesticks. Kind of on a diagonal, it looks like. Okay. Did I do this? Oh, I'm supposed to. Hang on. Okay, yeah. It's on the diagonals. Activating here. What do we have here? Medallion. Medallions are useful. Goes here. Nice that we're keeping the matches, I must say. A sword. What are we gonna cut now? Cut the rope. Yep. Thank you, I'll take that. We have a seal. Good for us. One more left to go, folks. It's a key. All right. Well, this is where we pause, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Portal of Evil, Stolen Runes. Bye for now.